a well, there's um, a couple different ways to waterproof a basement, multiple ways. One just depends on the severity of the water intrusion into the basement, whether that's from cracks, water coming in, um, in the cracks along the foundation walls, water that's coming in where the basement floor meets the foundation wall, um, and also cracks in the slab floor. Generally, if it's smaller cracks, you can like epoxy inject them. And also, if it's a bigger scale project, like a cinder block wall, what we'll do is, or, or even a foundation wall that needs to be pushed out, we will excavate the exterior all the way down to the footing and apply waterproofing membrane where needed. And then we backfill, you know, pour gravel and backfill. Uh, the other great way is to um, put an interior drain tile system in the areas of need in a, in a basement that, that would tie into a sump pump pit. Sump pump pit pu pumps the water out. Those are waterproofing methods. Yeah, so the interior drain tile is an interior system where we break uh, we break a trench around the perimeter. Let's just say it's a, a, a the whole basement. So what we'll do is we'll break a trench open along the interior basement floor about a foot to 16 inches out off the wall. We haul the concrete away, we dig a trench, and then we put a per perforated pipe down and do our underground Train the underground system that's got a sock around it. We cover it with gravel, put a spacer in, and then concrete it back in. We tie it into a sump pump pit. The sump pump pit pumps the water out. You can epoxy inject cracks with a polyurethane. Um, it's kind of a two-step process. You apply the epoxy patch and ports on the uh, on the surface, and then you let it set up for an hour, and then you uh, you pressure inject. A polyurethane is an expandable foam that's meant to waterproof foam. Any kind of cracks that are experiencing any kind of leaking.